What up? It's Jake Warren. I'm back again with another Behind the Beat. Actually, this is Behind the Sample. And this one is for uh, a song I did for Brent Fias called Rolling Stone off uh, the Wasteland album. Uh, this song basically came about because uh, sent, you know, I'm always sending different ideas and samples out to other producers that I'm homies with. And uh, I sent a pack to my boy Nasen, who I go a long, long ways back. He was actually a kid uh, when I was part of this Red Bull beat battle. He was like one of the kids in it. So I've probably known him since, I don't know, before he was even 21. Um, you know, somehow we linked back up over the years, and uh, one of the songs we ended up doing together was uh, Brent Fire's Been Away off the Fuck the World album, and that was like super successful record, different. Uh, me and Sam Wish made the sample on that one, and you know, basically, I'm just sending him stuff, and one day he sends me back like a little one verse idea from Brent over this sample I'd made. And <clears throat> I really, it was really like, I don't know, it was my favorite thing I probably made during the pandemic. Like, I probably heard that in 2020, mid 2020, like May, June, something like that. And I just listened to it a lot from that point on. And I was just hoping it was going to make the album because sometimes you do stuff that's really dope, but it just doesn't make the album. So, um, maybe a year passes. Uh, they put, uh, I think they put a second verse to it because I wasn't there and a hook. There wasn't even a hook on it. It was just that first verse. Um, Coop and Nascent added some other flourishes to it. Um, and yeah, when I heard it, I was just like, wow, this shit's amazing. I was really proud of it. Um, anytime I can make something that's like not what I've done before, I'm always excited, and especially if people like it. That's like the bonus. So it's kind of a little backstory on that one. Uh, I'm going to get over and show you how I put this together. It's uh, probably not gonna be exactly the way I made it because I don't know what the hell I was doing that day. But here we go. So with this one, I, I really started off with these chords. Uh, usually do all my samples. I start with a chord, a um, couple of little chord progressions. Um, and then I just layer and build on them and kind of just start doing them like how I make my beats because I feel like that's giving you guys the best version of me for when people want to sample my stuff. Um, so yeah, let's, let's start with the, the basic chord progression. Um, the sound is like literally a single note sound that came from the Oberheim four voice that uh, is no longer in the studio anymore. Just blaze bought it. And it's in a better home. Uh, he's got a synth fortress over there. So. <laughs> Shout out to him. Um, but yeah, let's let's try to let's try to play this again. Every time I redo these, they never turn out the same, so bear with me. So that's kind of it. Uh, next thing, went back to my trusty bass that I use on every beat, every sample, maybe not everyone, but a lot. I've I've gotten a lot of mileage out of this one bass sound. It's literally just a single note bass sound that's sampled in the ASR. And for whatever reason, I love the tone of it. So let's put the bass line in there. How does it go again? Something like that. Yeah, that's kind of it.
the next thing I added, which is a huge part of the kind of dreaminess this thing has, this little flute. Then I found a different ending and then pitched those both down. Let's see if this fits in. I think that I put the second one in too late. Like really where I'm getting, even the way I'm like hearing these sounds coming together is, I mean, I just listened to a lot of like Isaac Hayes and uh, Lamont Dozier and guys like that. They're used to like strings to create something that was like pretty, but not soft is kind of like what I really been into. Um, and yeah, that's that's like something I feel like I would hear on an Isaac Hayes record. And octave guitar is another one. So I, I, I have a bunch of different octave guitars that I've made beats out of uh, in my ASR as well. So I'm pulling up different, uh, different little riffs and I just chop them up to make them fit into whatever the new thing I'm making. So... This guitar is is a big part of this one too. That's mostly what's in the the Brent Fires joint. And then, you know, uh, Coop and Nasen added some more strings, some more flourishes uh, around it that were really dope. And more importantly, Brent just wrote an ill song. So, I mean, sometimes it's like you make something that you think is really good and somebody doesn't make a good song on it. And then sometimes you make something you think is cool, but the song elevates it. So I'm, I don't know. I actually, it's weird. I, when I made this sample, it was just another one. And, but when I first heard the song, I was like, Oh, this is special. I love this. I couldn't stop listening to it. And I don't usually do that. So anyways, this is another one behind the beat. Jake one, the making of Brent Fia's song, Rolling Stone. Shout out to my boys, Nascent, Coop, and, of course, Brent Fias, because, man, he's paying bills over here. Peace. Uh-oh.